Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Welcome to the Hawaiian Shirt Papa tour of blooming deals in Vineland, Ontario. Interesting shop. It was new to us, so um, maybe a little disjointed along here. The uh, shop was quite busy, so it, in editing I've tried to fix the the order of the images, but it's still not quite what you would just see if you just walked in. I try to avoid images of people at all. Uh, here we're just walking around on the first floor and there's a lot of stuff, very nicely displayed. You'll see some other things as we're coming along. We're coming up to uh, the entrance to what I call the annex. You saw that on the outside view, it was a bump out. We'll go into there a bit later. Um, here we go uh, along the one side of the first floor yes there is another floor and we got this back corner it actually had a change room and during covid it was actually in operation and here's the vault at least that's what i call it it sure as heck looked like a vault door uh, not using it for anything particularly precious or anything it's so uh, Glassware, small appliances, ceramics, plastic goods, and uh, here we go out. Now we're in the annex. The annex um, kind of tends towards outdoor stuff, but they've also got all the DVDs and stuff in here. Um, They've got some ladders that they're selling. You'll see that coming up. Uh, but skates, uh, this being winter time, so they had skates. They may have had some rollerblades. I wasn't looking for those in particular. So, and candles, part of a bed, uh, baby swing. There's the ladder there they had there, and back into the main part of the store. We're in the back corner at this point. And now we've gone to the opposite wall of the clothing on the main floor. Here I did find something that was a contender to be uh, looked at as a Hawaiian shirt. Only one, that's all they had. It's a platinum brand and uh, it looked pretty good. It's in good condition overall. Size was all right. Although if I'm getting it for resale, I, the size isn't as much of a factor for me. And on we go. We're looking at all the other goodies. Uh, then they're into long sleeves. That doesn't help me. In the center of the main floor, you've got uh, a, a number of tables. Right at the door opposite the cash, they've got purses. Huh. As I've learned from other videos, I take a look at what they have for purses. They usually had some um, condition issues, as they say. And over here, we've got uh, some crystal or glass that's looking like crystal. And here we are going downstairs. It's in two, two sections. First down to this intermediate landing and then down to the very bottom itself where the children's items are located. There may have been pregnant uh, women's items right at the bottom of the stairs as well. 
the children's area had primarily toys. They had some other items that would be related to child rearing as well. Besides the smaller clothes, there were some of those upstairs as well, but there was a lot more downstairs. Probably more in the smaller sizes are down here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of them here. And these are the items just outside of there, because that, that's, that's it. And then we head upstairs again, in short order. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, it'd be great. And we're back on the main floor. And there's another space, uh, probably like a closet room that they had by the vault. And it had, as you can see, it had a bottle collection, it had shoes. Um, it was really, really really difficult to categorize this one anyway we're getting near the end here uh it's not as long a video it's a great store in my humble opinion if you're going that way it's regional road 24 and right at the bottom of the escarpment so please do consider subscribing 